Look at this, Florida, HB 999 would enact the most draconic and censorious restrictions on higher education in the history of the country. I would like to remind people that the left is in a constant struggle with the concept of free speech. I know human rights is difficult to understand, but you do not have free speech when at work. You are under a contract. You know, that doesn't mean that your human rights are restricted. Like, for example, if you cannot leave the workplace under working hours, that does not mean that you are held captive. Does that not mean that you're kidnapped and your right of movement has been restricted? No, when you go to a job, you consent under contractual agreement to fulfill the contract that has been presented to you. So in the case of a teacher, you do not have free speech to lecture students about Nazism. For instance, no, when you're a teacher, you're supposed to teach the curriculum. And the curriculum is usually decided by the board of directors if it's a private institution or by the government if it's a state institution. Because the taxpayers are the one paying money and as such, the government decides what the curriculum is. And take into account that it is not fair to consider free speech when the position of the teacher is vastly superior to that of the student. And not only that, but the teacher is going to tell the student what to memorize. The student not only has to memorize that, but to then reproduce it at an exam. So, yes, I do think that there needs to be guidelines and that the government should decide what gets to be taught into schools or not. I'm pretty sure that if you had a government that said that, okay, well, we're going to promote Nazism or that they're going to only hire teachers that are within the Nazi ideology, but they don't teach it to the students, I'm pretty sure the left would have a complaint about that. And due to the fact that in Florida, for example, there were a lot of videos on TikTok coming up and a lot of parents saw what their students are being taught in class, they have the right to be concerned. Like, for example, when you have a teacher saying, oh, like, parents uh, are terrorists or parents shouldn't have the right to uh, educate the child. That is the right of the teacher. Like, the teacher is the second part. When, when you come with that nonsense, yeah, don't be shocked and pick at your face when you see the Florida HB 999 bill coming up. So apparently, the bill would ban diversity statements, make tenure and faculty hiring committees meaningless, and centralized control of core curricula mission statements in the hands of political appointees. Unexpectedly, it would also ban gender studies majors. Okay, so first of all, discriminating based on race is illegal. So I don't see the point of diversity statements. I would love nothing more than to have a university discriminate against me based on my race, my gender, or sexuality, because that, me that means I can sue. That means I can make some money. Easy cash, especially in Florida. Tenure is also something that has been abused. Tenure means that the professor cannot get fired. And then they can say the most batshit, crazy, insane thing. Do not care about what the parents think. Do not care about the people paying him money. Right? So it's a good thing that tenure is being removed. Gender studies majors. Look, I do understand the importance that the society requires to have lesbian dance masters PhD. But we are in the middle of an economic recession. I noticed that a lot of students are upset because they have student debt to pay. How many jobs are there available for people who want to partake into the lesbian dancing masters? And not to mention, like, if you actually read some of these um, gender study major papers, there is a lady which said that she wants students to be used as a virus. Like, she wants students to infiltrate every cell of a capitalist system and destabilize it. And then you also have the Oberlin College, which uh, had the, the Oberlin Bakery lawsuit. And you get to see how the teachers at those gender studies majors thought. They are promoting revolutionary thought while under the guise of, oh, we're just studying gender. So yeah, I, I can definitely see why the government, which they are trying to destabilize, would say, yeah, go do it on your own cash. You know, like, if you want to do that, like, no one is stopping you from having, like, your own private thing, and people can go there and pay for it themselves, but do not involve the state when you do that. All gen education courses must promote the values necessary to preserve the constitutional republic through traditional, historically accurate coursework. Courses based on unproven theoretical or exploratory content are banned from gen ed. The ban enforced by DeSantis appointees. Well, when you hear people coming up and saying on Disney, 
uh, slaves have built this country. Is that factual? Like, what is your evidence? Did no one else contribute? Did the immigrants not contribute even a little bit? Uh, what about the people that fought in the Revolutionary War against the British Empire? Did they have anything to contribute in building the country? So when you say like stuff like that that's controversial, is it actually historically accurate or not? Can, can you even go into such a class where the professor holds all the power and say, yeah, sure, like slaves did contribute, but what about the invention of electricity? What about the invention of the steam engine? Uh, what about the lawmaking, which even allows us to have free speech and have this debate right now? Because at the time, other countries did it. What about the abolition of slavery? Can you have these things? Right? Uh, critical race theory rhetoric also cannot be used in the hiring process, whatever that means. Oh, I'm glad you asked, Jeremy. This is my favorite question. I love to answer. Donald Trump actually explained why critical race theory is when he wanted to ban it. It needs to have one of these two components. Any ideology which considers the United States to be inherently evil and any ideology that discriminates based on race. Okay, if it doesn't have these two, it's not critical race theory. It can be promoted. Okay, uh, but it's the same thing, right? Like it, if you were to hire Nazi teachers, even if they weren't preaching Nazism to their students, would you be fine with that? Because their entire worldview, their entire mindset would be through the prism of Nazism. You, you understand what I mean? So like, yeah, I, I do see that why would the government want to ban an ideology which considers the government to be inherently evil or to ban an ideology which considers discriminating people based on race especially in the united states apparently it would uh, end academic freedom shared governance and university independence in uh, florida's public higher education so like are you are you afraid that in the future uh, florida will not have experts like do you think uh, because of this there will be less engineers uh, there would be less doctors there would be uh, fewer uh, rocket scientists like is, is this what you're concerned very interesting, you know, we live in a society where it's not just if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. No, if you don't like it, prevent other people from buying it. If you don't like it, prevent other people from watching it. Censorship is part and parcel of our life, my friend. I mean, you cannot go on social media without at least knowing someone getting censored, banned, or zooked. You have normalized censorship to the point where even I who used to be a free speech advocate, I'm now realizing, look, I'm not the one making the patch notes. I'm not the one creating the meta. I'm just playing the game. So if given the opportunity to have politicians censor on my behalf, well, maybe, you know, after you're getting censored, we can all come to a, a debate and we can discuss on how we can end this as a practice. And we can say, yes, censorship is wrong. This is how we need to end it. However, in this situation, I don't even view it as censorship. Again, there's no one stopping a person from uh, following a university outside of Florida. There's no one uh, stopping it. And I'm really curious if this bill would actually stop a university that's completely private. So if I want to, for example, create a place where I give uh, lesbian dance master courses and then give people a diploma that they have studied under me, would this be banned or not? Because I have a feeling it won't be banned. I have a feeling the reason people are really upset is that there are some taxpayer money going from the government to these universities. And that's why the government has control of what, what they, these universities can and can't do. And let's not take into, uh, let, let's take into account the fact that in America, if you want to take a student loan for a university, the government vouches on your behalf. So you're basically willingly giving the government so much power. Like you wanted the government to have this power. And now that it's exercising it, you're like Pikachu face. Well, this is why, right? Like, if you don't want this, advocate for libertarianism. Advocate for less government intervention. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.